little favor. have to speak and I don't care. I definitely will as much as you want. Hello. I, I love to speak actually. I always love to speak. So if you grant me a few extra minutes, I'm here to tell you many I mean incredible things that I've gone through in my life. I was one of the most ordinary guy, most shy people who used to always sit in the back bench of the class. Because and I, I, why I'm telling you this? Because it's going to be, you're going to identify yourself with me. Because lots of you, are just like me, most ordinary, don't understand why we are doing this, why we are doing that. <laughs> then I, I just start, I just watched classes rooms and used to think, what's, what's there for me? I mean, the theories of physics comes and goes, it changes, even the Einstein's theory is challenged by quantum physics. And even quantum physics is not the ultimate one. We are looking for the law of everything. The strategies, marketing strategies, finances, the management, the agile, the waterfall, everything comes and goes. So I was, I was terrified. Then why, why, I mean, I'm learning this, which I have to scrap even the, after one month or so. So where am I? So my, my life started changing when I started this question and you will not un believe me the most important thing in my life I found which I'm going to tell you I mean when I started questioning everything <clears throat> so let me let me tell you three stories it always starts with a game of three <sighs> the first story <clears throat> was of the ordinary guy who got a job in IBM as working as a software engineer and and one day while I mean he was not that much happy he was getting money making money was going to on site and those kind of fancy stuff but he, he was not complete <sighs> something was missing you know something was missing there <clears throat> so uh, I was I was standing in front of a you call, we call it jupes jupries uh, in front of my office in Kolkata and I saw a very little girl uh, which is almost dying mom. I have not seen anyone such skeleton like her near my office in Ecospace. Uh, uh, begging for food. And they looked, the ma mother looked so scary that people are even go afraid of going to her and help her. So I also, I, I was terrified. It shocked me. And my nature is that I, even if my, some, somebody stops me when I want to fly, I, I question everything. So I went to her and asked, what happened to you? What has happened to you? Why are you so skeletally thin? And it's in, I mean, I've not never seen someone like, like her. She was, she was breathing heavily and she was not able to talk. So I asked her, what has happened to you? And what she told, and people, was, people are looking around me because nobody goes and no sensible people goes and talk to a lady like that and she told me she has got uh, drug resistant tuberculosis and she's going to I mean she I mean she didn't know that but she could feel she'll not live many more days after that <clears throat> and her name was Hashi Shardar and her little daughter six-year-old daughter was Reshma <clears throat> so my my life changed the day I met her uh, it was lots of ups and downs for years I started helping I learned a lot of things finally her mother died and I could put her daughter in SOS children's village it was the lar largest orphan age in the world and she is a beautiful girl now I mean has everything she needs but that was the singularity that was the starting point not the end and today we help hundreds of street children uh, we feed them, we teach them, and you know how the money comes? Money comes from nowhere. People 
people flats us with money. We don't need any government fund, any corporate fund, and those things. It's completely crowdfunded. We get lots of monies, and we are very transparent. We work in agile mode. We don't have any big buildings, big banners, marketing strategies, and nothing like that. We have only one thing. We love and we are honest. We believe <laughs> that love is the most important thing, and we should be honest to the people that what we are doing. We post updates, and gradually it has happened over the period of time. But that was, that was not also completely fulfilling. I was getting burnt out because day by day things were getting changed. Lot of people, we, we started hiring people, people with management crisis and lots of things. It's, every, it's like a corporate organization, running a corporate organization while I'm doing a full-time job. Then I started questioning, why, why, why? Why I'm not completely satisfied with this also? <coughs> then one day, Another thing happened to me, and <coughs> I find the complete happiness which I was looking for, and that's what I want to tell you. <coughs> I came across a talk from Swami Sarbo Priyanandaji about nature of self, who you are. It's called consciousness. So most of us think that who are I? Who am I? I'm this body and I'm this mind. Then I, I was confused. Then, then what's my difference with a mobile phone? Even mobile phone can calculate lots of things faster than us. Mobile also has body. So am I equal to a mobile? No. This is the most important question we are not asking. Can, you, can any one of you tell me what's the difference of intelligent mobile? For the best of class mobile, the supercomputer, and you? Can any one of you tell me? Yes. The mobile phone or the computer, the supercomputer, cannot understand that it exists. How do you know that you exist? How do you feel that? Have you ever thought that? The damn computer, the mobile, they never understood that just a machine. They never understood that they exist. CD is also a programming. It is programmed by some information fed into it. How do I know that I exist? And have you heard of the Gordon's incompleteness theorem? That says that there are some fundamental things which cannot be proved, which you have to assume that it exists and you are that you are that tat tamasi you are the brahman you are beyond not even god you are beyond that the universe the universe is not outside the universe is inside you you are just feeling that you are only one consciousness and believe me it's not a theory i i am feeling this every day every moment so if you want to know Know yourself. The single thing. Everything else will fall in place. You don't need any management lesson. See, the greatest of management guy standing there in orange robe. Swami Vivekananda. I adore him. He knew that. And that's why we call them avatar. So know, know who you are. Everything else will come and go. The technology will come and go. Your passion, your love, your families, your friends will love, come and go. Only thing will be constant, that is you. You will be constant. So go study who you are, study consciousness. And that's what's the most important thing I wanted to tell you. And believe me, it's more practical than the practical. Your, your life will change after this, as my life did. Thanks. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Okay. And